Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today I'm going to show you how to freeze rows and columns in Excel. So first, open Excel. In my case, I already typed in random things in here. So what you need to do is go to view. And then here you'll see an option, freeze panes. So click on the drop down. So let's try first to freeze the top row, which is this one. So once we click freeze top row, as you can see, even if we're going to scroll down, this row in here will not disappear. Now, what if you want to freeze the column in here? So the column A. So what you need to do is to click freeze panes again and then click on freeze first column. So as you can see in here, once we scroll right, as you can see, this row in here will not disappear on the screen. Now let's try if, for example, you want to freeze this two columns in here and then this two rows that we have here, what you need to do is to first let's try to unfreeze the column and the row that we did a while ago. So click on split. Here you'll have an option to freeze the rows and the column. So what you need to do is to adjust this line in here. So in my case, I would like to freeze row one, two, three, and then column A to C. Once you're done with that, just click on freeze panes and then click freeze panes option. Now, once you try to scroll right, as you can see, the columns A, B, C are not disappearing on the screen. And also the rows one, two, three, are also frozen on the screen. And that's how to freeze columns and rows in Excel. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching!